and we're gonna have a short uh, community update this week we're just gonna do some quick tournament updates and um, and then uh, do the Tekken 8 tech um, but we'll be back again um, hopefully next week with uh, with some more information anyways so Tekken 8 launch we've got this Saturday January 27th coming out at Defiance Fox Games in Tacoma um, doors open at 1 uh, tournament starts at 3 so they'll get have some chance to get some warm-ups in um, start.gg slash sea salt to, uh, to register there I'll have links down below as well and the following week we've got uh, dead on arrival 5 this one's up in Seattle um, on a Saturday hosted by the TRC people at a uh, tabletop village uh, so this will be um, for uh, the week after Tekken 8 launches so people have had time to get a little bit of labbing in and then the week after that we've got another one we've got Backstreet Brawl number two and this one's gonna be at Highline College I'm not entirely sure which room it'll be in uh, check the event page like I said links below um, to all of these to find out exactly where it will be and then if you're looking for something a bit more uh, major like we'll be um, having Fight Kingdom May 3rd through 5th up in Everett uh, and again links will be down below this is gonna be the most honest thing you ever see on YouTube you see these PS4s? We have four of them. We're trying to sell them to you. They're the official Northwest Majors PlayStation 4s that through a series of business agreements, we managed to come a hold of. We used them at events for years. They're a part of Seattle tech and history, if you will believe it or not. We'd like to sell these to you. Listen again, we're trying to get money for PS5s and copies of Tekken. Yeah, I know. We had four PS4s and we're going to have five PS5s. We're literally becoming the meme. They're the official Northwest Majors branded PlayStation 4s. We're asking $150. You can own a piece of Seattle Tekken history. Hey, if you play Eddie Gordo, you can hit back 3-3 from 800 miles away like EPM does. And hey, if you're Jumanji, you can throw one of these at Anakin and maybe distract them. So, buy the consoles, will you? And now for the new Tekken 8 Tech of the Week. So, if you remember last week, I showed you that you can cancel your heat, uh, uh, your heat engage, or the 2 plus 3 by typing back back. Well, you can actually use that in combos. The, uh, the way the com combos work is that if you hit your 2 plus 3, in a combo and you do your dash like that then you no longer you, know, you don't get the um, continue the combo afterwards you um, get a grounded hit and that's the end of the combo but if you don't use your heat burst um, to hit the opponent then you cancel it you can still get your dash so let me just reset here really quick Let's see what that looks like. So if we just knock him down, do the heat burst, cancel it, we can do the heat dash, and then we can get the follow-ups after that. Now, um, bonus tech, uh, tech and eight tech, is that after you do a heat dash, the combo pushback has been reduced. It gets reduced significantly. You can actually get a lot more hits in your combo. This also works if you just do um, a heat engager move that can do um, you can cancel into the dash and launch them that way. You can actually get a lot more hits in your combo. Anyways, that's it for the Tekken 8 tech tips. Uh, we'll see you this Saturday for uh, Sea Salt 9 and the Tekken 8 launch. Peace.